Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Kayla. Lovely to have you here. As you can see by the title of this video, this is another new thing for my channel. I've only got a few videos up and I'm just trying a bunch of new things. So that's my chair squeaking. Okay, so today I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do the beauty consumer tag. So I first saw this video on uh, Teresa is Dead's channel. If you watch beauty content on YouTube, please check out Teresa's channel. But also if you don't mind swearing. If you don't like swearing, you're not gonna like Teresa. Teresa, as she says, is the F word like a comma. And she's so funny, she's hysterical, she's so well spoken, I just, I adore her. And her intro, she has the greatest intro out of anybody that I've heard. I, her intros are the, f are my most favorite part of her videos. They're just hilarious. So. Please check out her channel. I will leave her link below. Um, I also saw that someone else that I s I'm subscribed to, Smoky Glow, did this tag as well. Um, and Smoky Glow has a wonderful channel as well. She also does beauty related content, uh, but hers is a little bit more commentary focused. She does a, a Talktorial Tuesday where she puts makeup on, um, but a lot of her other content is focused on, on commentary. Um, she's very well spoken. She's perfectly lovely. So please check out her channel below. The tag itself was originated by 90s Love Child. I'm going to leave her um, video link in the description below as well. Uh, I haven't checked out any of her videos. I'm going to though. I'm always on the hunt for more people I can subscribe to, people I'm interested in watching. Let me know who your favorites are down below because I want to check them out. So today we're going to do the beauty consumer tag. My background here still working in my computer room but this here is inspired by smoky glow she's always got this lovely uh fireplace going on in her background and i quite like that so thank you hannah from smoky glow beauty consumer tag originated by 90s love child there are 13 questions let's get to it question number one how much do you spend on makeup a month or a year so far this year i've spent zero dollars on makeup 2019 was kind of a rough year i spent a lot I hit uh, VIB at Sephora, so I spent at least, mm, I probably spent $500 at Sephora, which really considering Sephora's prices isn't a lot of products, I probably spent more than that. Maybe mm, over the course of last year I probably spent about $1,000 on makeup, which for me is a lot. 2018 is when I kind of started my makeup journey. I've always worn makeup, but not very well. It, this is a little bit rough. 2018 I started really watching tutorials on YouTube and figuring out what products were going to work best for me and my skin type and my skin tone. I'm very fair, I have very dry skin, sometimes it's sensitive, and I was just, I just wanted to be better at makeup. Makeup is something I love, I love putting it on, I love the way it makes me feel, um, I like the way it makes me look. I don't wear a ton so it doesn't really change the way my face looks too much so I love it um but I, I spent more than I have ever last year but so far none this year question two do you ever feel guilty about how much you spend on makeup no I don't um no I spend I work, I, I earn my own money, and I spend a lot of my money on my household, my children, my husband, um, so any money that I spend on myself, I feel like is, is deserved. I spend my money how I would like, and uh, no, I don't, I don't feel bad at all. It's something that I enjoy, so I'm not going to feel bad for spending money on my things that I enjoy. Uh, number three, do you ever get FOMO related to makeup releases? For the most part, no. Once in a while, yes. Um, if I can, but I, I can't justify the price of some things, or um, you know, I can admire something, but know that I'm not going to use it, so I'm not going to buy it, right? And then I'll get a little bit of FOMO, like, oh, I, I want to try it, I want to see what it looks like, but I know I'm not going to use it enough, and I'm not really into collecting it, and I'm not wanting to use it or to have it and not use it, you know. Question four, do you purchase or keep items simply because they're limited edition? No, I don't. I feel like you can dupe so many things nowadays. There's so many makeup brands, so many makeup products. Um, 
that that you can just dupe out a limited edition thing. If I if there's an eyeshadow palette, I can probably make a like a go on ColourPop and make a an eyeshadow palette that's similar. You know, ColourPop has a, a million single eyeshadows and they often have sales on on uh, build your own palettes. So, you know, something like that. I I limited edition things just don't really they don't do it for me. Question five, would you be willing to pay more money for a sold out product online? No, I absolutely would not. Like I just said, you can dupe things out. So if it's sold out, it's sold out. There's going to be another product that comes along um, that's that's going to do the same thing for me. You know, I, I don't get upset when things get sold out and I'm certainly not going to pay more money for it. Absolutely not. Question six, do you wish you could spend more or less? Um, you know what? If I had more money, I wish I could spend more money. If I had dollars to throw around, money to just spend where I liked and, you know, everyone was still taken care of, um, then, then yeah, I'd, you know, I'd love to have a Tati Westbrook beauty room filled to the brim with makeup to just play with and put on my face all the time but it's not realistic so do I wish I could spend more yeah of course I wish I could spend more on makeup on clothes on vacations on a personal chef what is happening here rude my fireplace has ads I don't like that S question seven do you feel compelled to buy something when you see it in someone else's collection no. For the most part, no. Um, the exception to that is, you know, a few of my favorite beauty YouTubers, um, especially ones who have similar skin type and tone to myself, like Taylor Wynn, for example. She is a pale princess. She's pale and has dry skin, and so if she is raving about a product and it's something that I'm a little bit drawn to, then sometimes I feel compelled to buy the things that she is recommending. She's a true influencer on me. Same with uh, Samantha Ravindal and Raw Beauty Christie are uh, two others that I watch that often sell me things. I feel compelled to purchase what they're telling me. But that's about it. Other people, not really. Th those, those are my three main gals. They're wonderful. Check them out. Um, let's see, where are we now? Question eight, do you buy more during the holidays? No, I buy less during the holidays because I have limited money. I, the money that I have during the holidays is going towards making sure my kids have a good Christmas, they go towards my kids, my husband, my family, and friends. That's where my money goes. I come last at Christmas, and that's okay. I, that's, I'm, I'm good with that. Question nine, have you ever hidden a makeup purchase from family or friends? No, absolutely not. I work, I make my own money, and uh, if I buy it, it's because I want it, and no one's going to make me feel bad about that, and I don't really care what other people think about the things that I'm purchasing, so no, I, I don't hide it. What? Why would I? No. No. Question number ten, do you have more than ten products in your collection that you have not used in over a month? Oh, yes I do. Yes, I do. Especially liquid lipsticks. I have a problem. I have a problem. I have a lot of liquid lipsticks. I'm on the hunt for the perfect nude liquid lipstick. A nude lip that speaks to me. I have one that's close, but I'm not reaching for it every day, which makes me think it's not, it's not quite holy grail status. If you have a favorite nude lip, please leave it down below. I want to know. I want to know what your favorite nude liquid lipstick is. Uh, I also have a small collection of blushes and foundations. I am trying to find my holy grail foundation. I haven't found it yet. I'm on the hunt. So I have more foundations than I prefer to have, but I'm trying to use them up before I purchase another one. That's, that's my goal. But man, that new Bite Beauty foundation is really calling my name. I really want to try it. I really want to try it, guys. So I might. Question 11. Have you ever been pressured to purchase something you could not afford or did not need? No. Who would be pressuring me? There is nobody else in my life who's going to pressure me to buy something. No. Question 12. 
Do you purchase makeup for collector reasons? I feel like I kind of answered that already. No, I don't collect makeup. If I'm purchasing it, it's because I want to use it. I want to see what it looks like on my face. No shade to anybody that does. Everyone's got their collection of things that they like to have. I don't like to collect makeup. I like to use makeup. Question 13. This is the last question. In your makeup journey, have you become less or more consumeristic? Um, for me, it's been kind of a journey. So 2018 and 2019, I definitely became more consumeristic. I was purchasing more to kind of build up my collection and um, figure out what was going to work best for me. So there was definitely a period of time where I was more consumeristic and buying a fair amount of products. Uh, over the last few months I've become less only because I've acquired quite a few products and I want to use them up before I purchase more. I don't want to waste makeup, you know, I spent money on those. I spent money that I worked for on those, so I want to use it. I don't want to just waste it. So, that's it. Alright guys, that is it for today. This was just a quick little video. I thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to join me on my journey. My next video that I want to film, I want to talk about Don't F With Cats, the Netflix documentary. If you've watched it, let me know. Leave your thoughts down below. Um, but watch out for that video. That's going to be coming next. I'm going to film that maybe tomorrow. Um, curious to hear what everyone's thoughts are on that. Um, if you're interested in the beauty consumer tag, I'm going to leave the questions in the description. Copy and paste them down below. Tell me your thoughts. Tell me your feelings. I hope everyone has had a good day today. If you haven't had a good day today, just remember that tomorrow is a new day and you can start fresh tomorrow. But I hope that today has been good to you. Still on a journey to figure out what my niche is, but I might still just stick with a little bit of everything. I'm not sure yet. Haven't decided. We're only a few videos in, but I'm quite liking my new setup I've got here. I've got a nice tripod, a camera, microphone, the background we gotta work on though. It's a work in progress. But anyways, I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you watching. Thanks, guys.